What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. Excuse me, these are my socks. Hey, I'm trying to film a video here, dude. Today's vlog, we're talking about books. Yes, books. If you don't like books, then I'm sorry. But if you do like books, <gasps> in my previous vlog, you saw that Bills got me these books here and they're wrapped up and he numbered them. I wrote all the numbers down. I wrote one to eight. There's only seven books that are wrapped, but the eighth book will be some free choice that I choose from anywhere on my bookshelf. We have to do this quickly or else we're gonna be late. We're gonna be very late, guys. <laughs> my first option will be whatever this one is. Number six. Okay, let's see what number six is. Oh, I think I know what this one is. Damn it, I wanted to read a fantasy one. Okay, let's see what this book is. <gasps> oh, oh, actually I wanted to read this one. This is part of a series, this is Shatter Me. There's a lot of books in this series. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. And then I'm gonna choose two more to read for the rest of January. Ideally, I think I'd wanna read five books in January, not three, but I don't know how my school schedule is gonna be and how busy I'm gonna be. So let's just start with three books first. B, you wanna choose one? Yeah. Uh -oh. Four. I think One, four is two, bad. Three, four. Number four is a very bad number in Chinese culture because it means death. Oh! 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 <laughs> you know what's so funny? I know exactly what all these books are, but I'm still so excited about them. I'm so excited to read this one too. Okay, okay. One more. One more. One more. Okay, okay, let's go. We're gonna go. We don't have time for one. See you guys at the coffee shop. Well, uh, Bills is on the toilet, so I guess we're not in that much of a rush. Okay, I'm gonna choose the third book. This one is number five. Oh, this one is hardcover. Okay, I think I know what this one is. I've been saying that about all these books I've been opening so far, and I haven't guessed them right. I think this one is Divine Rivals. I think I'm gonna reuse these two and then do this again with my other books. This is fun. It's Divine Rivals. Okay, hey, hey, can you... I'm excited. I've heard lots of good stuff about this book. And here are the three new books that I will be reading for the month of January. Just picked me up from the coffee shop and we are about no? Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> what? Yes, I did. Oh. <laughs> we are on the way to our favorite Vietnamese restaurant. Hi my sao. Hi my mod. We got spring rolls. These are the OG spring rolls. Apparently it's a five out of ten. Dumplings. Yeah, apparently that's basically only a five out of ten. <laughs> Guys, there's people here, so I'm a little a little shy. Take a bite, guys. Mm-hmm. So good. So what I do is I open up the dumpling and then I put the sauce inside. And then we eat. While I was at the coffee shop, I got to page 74 of Shatter Me. I quite like it so far. It's been easy to follow. It starts off with the main character, Juliet, stuck in this prison. I and mean, she's been completely isolated from society. She hasn't spoken to anyone for 264 days. And then this guy gets thrown into the cell with her. And they kind of build this bit of a relationship. He keeps asking her questions. And she doesn't want him to get too close because she's scared of what she might do to him. I'm interested in seeing where this goes. But I wanted to talk about this other book. I finished it yesterday. It's called Love Theoretically. I read it all within a day, which is so shocking because I don't think I've read a book so quickly before. Despite me reading it so quickly, I did not enjoy it that much. I think I give this 3.6 stars out of 5 only because I felt that it was just so science heavy. There's a lot of physics analogies and references in this that I just, I felt I had to think a lot to actually understand what they were saying. I'm not really into the whole STEM academia thing, but I did enjoy the main character, Elsie because she has a lot of progression and development 
development as a character from the beginning to the end. She initially starts off as this person who always has this facade, who's always adapting and changing to become what people want her to be and what people perceive her to be. She's a professor who just doesn't make much money at all, but she has this side hustle where she goes on fake dates. And so she's fake dating this guy, but that's not the guy she falls in love with. She falls in love with the guy's brother, Jack, who just analyzes Elsie in such a fascinating way and who's able to tell when she's not being her true self and not to feel that she has to impress everyone and be what they want her to be. So I really enjoyed that part. It was just at the beginning was a little slow. I think it only started getting interesting around 150 pages for me. I'm gonna continue reading this and then my little cousins are gonna be coming over. I'm gonna be watching them for a bit. And I think that's it for this vlog. It really is just a reading and book vlog. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Who are you guys? Darius. And? Anna. Anna. <laughs> what do you guys have? Chocolate milk. No, I guess, sure. Oh, it's hot chocolate with marshmallows. And what are we watching? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. We are watching Frozen. Whose favorite movie is this? Me. The kitties have their little hot chocolate and we're watching the movie. And then I forgot to show you guys my new table. I have been loving this because as you can see, we don't actually have a coffee table. So I usually put my water bottle, my drinks, my snacks on the floor. It's small and then this can go right underneath the couch so you can pull this table all the way in. It also has this little shelf here and it actually opens up too. So I've just been reading here with my little table and I sit here and read my books for like 20 hours. I have a peppermint hot chocolate in this new mug that my friend got me. I did not get him a Christmas present. I feel bad. It's a Le Cousset. Le Cousset? Le Cousset. Le Cousset. I think that Le Cousset. Bill thinks I'm such a tryhard when I try to speak French. But I genuinely want to learn how to speak French, guys. Yeah, I'm such a bad friend. Did not get my friends any Christmas gifts. I'm one of those friends, guys. Darius needs to go pee, so I need to take him to go pee. <laughs> ordered some food. We are a little hungry and it seems like we're gonna be having a bit of a late night tonight. We ordered some shawarma. We were gonna order pizza, but I think we've just been eating too much pizza and we've gotten very sick of it. Oh, Tim, it's gonna go pee pee some papas. Bomb. Where? If you look hard, really hard. All I see is dry skin. I got a chicken. Hey! Sorry, Sorry. Interrupt. You know their beef ones were buy one get one free. That's why I asked if you wanted beef. Oh, I should have just. What is this? Cornflakes? These kind of look like cornflakes for a second. Um, I got a chicken shawarma. There's lettuce, chicken, onions. Oh, I forgot to say no onions. I think there's pickles in here. Garlic sauce? Don't know. I honestly don't know what's in here. Needs hot sauce. Man, I really messed up on the onions. I forgot to say no onions. I hate raw onions. I like cooked onions. I really like cooked onions. But raw onions are just... They're just not for me, guys. You want a bite of mine? Mm -hmm. No, I've been on that hot sauce grind. I've been on that hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> okay, we got some hot sauce. Once I build our little sweet sauce here, so we don't put some of that on there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Hot sauce and the sweet sauce on there. I don't know about the pickles are. I don't think I like pickles in my shawarma. Mmm. 
Well, that is it for today's vlog. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Mm. There's sauce all over my hands. <laughs>